aim set to pierce it in the heart of a hummingbird. Pine type pigs. All of them. I see you there. Oh, look. Four red eyes, two huge horns, demon looking wings. Yeah, you're definitely not the bad guy in this game. I had to listen to this voice for the whole game. And I recorded almost 70 hours of this nonsense. I have no such flaws. The rest have fallen. Only one stands between me and the rehabilitation of Olympus. Only the foulest, most arrogant, narrow minded boxer son of Kronos who trapped me beneath the earth. The one and only Zeus! How I've missed you, Prometheus, my favorite cousin. Your fair cousin, and yet you change him to that rock to suffer in the cold with no clothes on. Chained me to this rock and fed my liver to an eagle. Out of love. Ah, uh -huh. You need my help. Typhon is free. Isn't Zeus supposed to be the strongest of all? In all of Greek mythology, Zeus is known as the higher tier of all gods. For some reason, Typhon can become more powerful than Zeus. Yet here comes this little demigod known as Phoenix and takes out Typhon. But she's weaker than Zeus. A little confusing, isn't it? Go on. Blast me. I can't! He took my lightning! For those of you who don't know, the lightning bolts are Zeus' most famous and most powerful abilities. How is it that Typhon is able to take away his lightning, but doesn't take Zeus down yet? Is it because the plot doesn't demand it? If so, that's some poor storytelling. Turn to stone! One of those evil parasites is about to save your royal ass. My ass is safely lodged in the Aegean stables, and mortals will never be anything but a mistake. Care to make a wager? If I'm right, my sin of stealing fire and ensuring their survival becomes a blessing. You find your punishment unjust? It's a little... extreme. Do we have a deal? If you win, I'll end your punishment and set you free. But if I win, you help me stop Typhon, whatever it takes. Very well. Let the tale of Phoenix be my redemption. How is it your redemption when it's Phoenix who will do everything? You didn't do anything but tell the story. Local ghost, local ghost, can you hear me? You've gone cold. Yeah, someone that's been turned into stone is definitely gonna hear you. I have to be calm. I have to follow my training. What training did you get exactly? I didn't go through any training. Yes, I know, the game just started, but is Ubisoft trying to convince me that Phoenix, a character I just made, went through training when I haven't even seen it yet? Okay, let's say she did train. Why doesn't she have any starting weapons? Sure, we'll be getting the sword, heavy weapon, and the bow soon. But Ubisoft can't just make up crap like this without getting past me. So your brother's supposed to be the strongest fighter there is. You even looked up to him as if you're beneath him. That weapon is supposed to mean something. Yet, it's literally the first weapon you get. Legeron! Brother! You know, it was never explained how Legeron was turned into stone. Yet, the first time we see him, he'll be trying to steal items to give to Typhon. Ubisoft, when you make these stories, can you at least try to explain things properly? How are you crying when your tears aren't actually going down your face? I will bring you back. I swear it. Emotion loved one makes big promises, cliche. Phoenix had never been allowed to hold the hallowed sword. A gift from Achilles for bravery and battle. It balanced perfectly in her palm. As if forged for it. Achilles sword? Brother must have been good in... But That's Achilles' sword, yet yeah, it's incredibly weak. Think about it for a second. I mean, yes, Achilles is someone who can take down an army with a damn toothpick. But this weapon is supposed to be teased like the Harbinger in the first Fable game. Wow, what impeccable timing. As soon as Phoenix got the sword, enemies popped out of portals as if they were waiting for Phoenix to fight. By the gods! Stay back! Why the hell are you afraid? Did you not receive training for this? Hermes, my old friend. 
It's an honor to finally meet you in person. Just don't tell anyone I'm speaking to you. I got in enough trouble for memorizing stories instead of tilling the soil back at home. And then the other soldiers. She's speaking to Hermes when Phoenix is nowhere near Hermes. Unless Phoenix suffers from schizophrenia or doesn't have an imaginary buddy named Hermes, I don't see why she would be talking to herself. Phoenix's destiny was becoming clear. So far, all you have shown me is a mortal soldier who has fought one real battle. I agree. How is her destiny becoming clear when she is nowhere near freeing Aphrodite? That's when her destiny is starting to become clear. Soldier shall be our salvation. For if she fails and Typhon defeats us, Zeus, king of gods, the world will fall to chaos. Yeah, but obviously the plot wouldn't demand that. You know, Prometheus is able to see the future. Shouldn't he be able to see what happens? Curse! A griffin? But they aren't real! How can you say they're not real when you just saw your family and fellow comrades turned into stone? At that point, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw a giant wild animal was about to attack me. Let me go! Help! I don't get why Hermes is screaming to let him go. He's holding the bar himself. He could just let go of the bar. Um, Gorgon? They're real. Still questioning these mythical creatures, I see. Even after you gain Zeus's lightning bolt in another dimension. Ubisoft, I know you like to troll, but putting Ali in your games is unacceptable. Stop! Over here! Fight someone who's armed instead! You can't be serious. Modern day feminism, everybody. Acts tough, but runs away when things start to get harder. Appreciate the assistance, Phoenix. Nice bracelets. Thanks. I'm on my way to the Temple of Apollo to see the Oracle. Me too. Ha, it's right over there. Oh, great. I can use all the help I can get. We should go to... Hey, where did you go? My bracers! That rotten little thief! How the hell did Hermes take that without you noticing? If it's that easy to steal from you, you have to wake up and open your eyes. I know how you feel, kid. You do everything you can for them, and then they betray you. Yeah, it's called being a human being, aka being imperfect. Zeus is talking as if he's done anything for people. His own kids have been trapped for how many years, and he hasn't done anything. Something? I'm starving! Father of your line is not father of your kin. A mountain, crowned huh? with flowing locks, is how you win. The monster shambles, hungry for immortal flaws. The true hero owns them all, stolen from the beast's jaws. With the wind herald's aid, go on the attack. And sooner than later, change them all back. A pearl of seas, forge fires lit. A wise child convinced, others wait of wit. Eldest of Thetis, father overthrown. Hero on high, it's time for you to come home. Why is it when a game presents an oracle speaking, they always have to be so vague? Just say what the hell the main character needs to do. A prophecy ends with I see. But in this case, I don't? It's official. This priest is the first priest to be high. Stop! Thief! You can have these bracelets back. You're going to need them where you're going. Come with me. No! Look, I'm sorry about stealing from you. It's just something I do. It's kind of a problem. So? We good? Not even remotely. I needed an offering for the Oracle. I thought you were a nobody, and I didn't like your face, but that's all- Oh, okay, next time I think a certain someone is a nobody, and I dislike their face, I'm going to steal from them. Behind us now. We have to go. Didn't like my- <sighs> We don't have much time. He will be here soon. Who? I have just a ticket for you to make it to the mainland. Where are those wings? These? Now who's the thief?
What the hell are you talking about? She got those wings from the vault. Oh, so you looked into the pockets for the wings? You can't fit these wings in your pockets. Well, unless I see that, I will not be believing that. Look so smug, they won't fly yet anyway. You have to find the other piece. When you find that other piece, you won't be flying, which would definitely give the game a great flavor. You'll be gliding. I hope these Ubisoft devs know the difference between flying and gliding. Or we? <laughs> there is no we. Not anymore. Phoenix! No! Uh, open your wings! I can't! I have you now. Big Typhon was easily defeated just like that. Someone who somehow rivals Zeus himself. You know what? Let's talk about Typhon. He's huge compared to Phoenix and Hermes. Why did the devs choose to use Typhon instead of Hades? Hades is someone who definitely rivals because his power comes from the evil that is being done. Typhon is just an overgrown demon that talks and screams more than my mother. You literally robbed me and now you're saving me. Why? I didn't follow most of what the Oracle ran through, but if the prophecy is on the money, hero on high, you're the only one who can stop Typhon from remaking the world. We don't even know if it's about me. For someone trying to help everyone right and left, maybe you should accept help once in a while. What are you talking about? This is the game's dialogue, everyone. It leads to nowhere and is more powerful than 100 milligrams of melatonin. Phoenix gazed across the narrow band of sea at the peaks and valleys of the Golden Isle ahead. The long path to her true destiny lay stretched out before her. Wait, that was just a prologue? How does it take someone that long to begin a story? I know, right? One hour and 30 minutes into the game, we're just now being reminded what game we're playing. Be quiet and listen. How is he supposed to listen to Phoenix jumping off to glide? You're telling a story, not presenting it. For thousands of years, Typhon festered until Helios was eclipsed and burning stars fell from the heavens. The stars burnt through Typhon's chains, and in an explosion of fire and smoke, Typhon burst from the mountain. So you're telling me meteors are strong enough to break through the chains of Typhon, but Typhon, the one character who can rival Zeus, wasn't. I truly believe these devs were just making up a story with this much plot demands without realizing it. <laughs> Weak and selfish, your heroes will exist as shadows of their former selves, serving me forever. This pretty much shows how useless or stupid Typhon is. It's impossible to kill these Greek gods, but instead of chopping them into pieces, making sure they're unable to be whole again, he transforms them into something that isn't permanent. Look kid, I'm not perfect. I'm the guy who escorted Pandora to Earth for Zeus's sake. But maybe, just maybe, you're the right hero at the right time. Also, you're literally all we've got, seeing as how everyone else has been defeated. Well, if that's not a way of saying, listen, every one of your superiors failed and you're all that's left to discourage Phoenix, then I don't know what is. Oh, is this where the gods get their dental exams? No, it's where we rip off our skin to change our appearance. Huh. Still better than visiting the dentist. Oh yeah, because ripping off your skin is far less painful than a dentist working on your teeth. You mortals seem to need an incentive. So, I'll pay you Electrum for accomplishing each. And since I'm the god of merchandise, you can spend it right here on, you guessed it, merchandise. Ooh, creative. Or you could always just pay me your own Electrum. I thought the incentive was for me. I'm the god of financial gain. Those prices. Wow. I'm also the god of thieves. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Ubisoft exposing themselves. Every game they come out with will try to make the game as boring and as long as possible to incentivize the players into buying more microtransactions. Orchard, someone has to get Ares to clean up after himself. But Ares isn't here right now. He hasn't been for a very long time. What's the point in that? Hmm. Whoa! 
You're cute. Try not to impale yourself on anything. But Phoenix wasn't listening. She was drawn to the forge by a hidden force. The Aramantine she'd gathered, calling out to be reshaped. Are you sure that's the forge calling out to Phoenix? Or is it Ubisoft trying to keep their hands in the players' pockets? From the way I see it, these materials are insanely grindy and it's insanely expensive to upgrade your weapons. What just happened? Typhon must not like you, though. I couldn't possibly imagine why. Whenever anyone defies him, he sends one of his raids. And that raid delegates responsibility, as raids tend to do, to shades. So the warrior that just appeared wasn't really Achilles? Goodness, no! The true Achilles is far more dashing. Mentioning Achilles, and yet Achilles isn't in this game. That was strange. I can't keep standing idly by. Sorry, I mean busily preparing anymore. You have to bring Aphrodite back to her beautiful snarky self before I go crazy. By the gods, where did you come from? You know, you have seen him teleport before. He can teleport within the blink of an eye and as quiet as possible. The fact that you're surprised is unbelievable given the fact that you're a demigod yourself. This is one way the game is lying to the players. How is Phoenix able to fly up to another dimension when you can't fly at all? I'm only speaking for myself, but fuck this vault. Did you know this rooster was once the great Electrion? Helios' annoying bird that screeches every time the sun comes up? The very one. Knock him dead, Phoenix! That dumb bird is the last thing I want to hear after party with Dionysus. Zeus is a bitch to birds. I wonder if Phoenix will test the power of an arrow on the Helen statue. I wonder if Ubisoft can stop trying to hold my hand in every game they make. Seriously, Splint Cell, Far Cry, Assassin's Creed, and now this? Let me figure it out for myself. Hey, proud guy. I've got the... Seed. I'm sorry, kid. Come on, we'll go get some drumsticks. They're on me. Special companion all of a sudden gets up after confirming the dead cliche. Also, he had his flame going. What made them think the bird died? Because he appeared dead? It was so obvious the bird wasn't dead at all. Come no closer. I am Ares, the mighty god of war. I will tear you limb from limb. Your puny frame will reduce to dust in my paws. Great Ares, my name is Phoenix. I'm here to defeat Typhon, and I require help from the god of war. Now what was the point on this when Prometheus stated that Typhon made sure that the four gods are imprisoned into a massively weaker self to the point they can't do anything? I was paying attention, and I knew there was something smaller than that bear. A bear is strong enough to defend himself and fight, god or not. A rooster, however, is not. It's not your turn, bear. Not be sorry, be better. I know this game purely relates to Greek mythology, but this is still the wrong game. There first and stole your essence. Alok! The thief could be anywhere by now. Failure was inevitable. We're done, finished, good night. Damn, you give up way too easily. And you call yourself a god of war? What would Kratos say? Hey, little sis. I surrender. Legiron? No way! I saw you! You were stone! You're alive! Did I hurt you? Ha! Of course not. I refuse to be taken down so easily. Especially by you. Well, you see, she did take you down. Strong egotistical character tries putting someone smaller down to protect their pride cliche. Turn to stone. I smoked something with the oracle, but that's the closest I got. Ha ha. Though he's actually not an oracle. He is an oracle. Consciously he's not, but 
as you witnessed yourself, the Oracle exists within him. Where the situation is, and from the sounds of the prophecy, only the true hero will be victorious. So? You mean... I'm here to save us all. Must be why I escaped turning to stone. Legaron, you ain't fooling nobody. Once you tried to run away with the stolen items, I knew you were up to no good. I've never seen you make one mistake. Come on. It said eldest of Thetis. Mom's oldest. That's me. And a wise child convinced. That's you, oh wise one. Now this is where I think the characters were programmed to be stupid. How in the hell any human is going to be able to take down a full power demon? Impossible. No matter how much that person trained. Typhon. It's crazy. Do you know there are actual gods here? Yeah, I do. Actually doing one a favor. I'm looking for a tracking kit to tell a thief who stole a vial from Ares. What's it look like? Let's see here. So you are the thief. You saw him running away with some items. What the hell did you expect? Now's as good a time as any. Look, it's hard for me to say thanks. But you put up with a lot of clucking around. It was worth every... Good. Now get me out of this clucking chicken suit. Can we please start with the censorship? There are other words that could be used. Found a shrine to Aphrodite. Phoenix shri kicks the chest shut, but somehow it opens. That's pretty much the logic in this game. Why do you ask? Ask? Huh? Oh, no, it's nothing. Maybe some fantasies are best left unfulfilled, I suppose. This ain't a scent, but I love how both these guys looks at Phoenix like, do you mind, bitch? We're having a conversation here. I'll bring the pain to Typhon soon enough. But first, his Sparti soldier punks who mocked me when I was a little lost bird need a talking to. There's some badass armor in it for you. Loot it right off the thugs. Translation. It's literally the same armor, just with a different color and no attributes to distinguish between the two armor. I'd say you were trying to leave us a message. Me? Come next video. I think past you left a clue to recover your memory. Something Typhon couldn't decipher. Can you read any of it? It's incomplete. Hephaestus, you genius! It is missing a piece! No shit, it's the missing piece. Even when I saw the shape of the item, that took a massive amount of work. I knew that was the missing piece. This Phoenix, did you just pull that container out of your ass? So, first, we need a hammer. Check. Where did you... Never mind. Hey, at least it makes sense he pulled out that hammer out of nowhere. Forging is his specialty. Remind me again where you pulled that container from? For some reason, this ability is not in this game. And if it is in this game, I haven't unlocked it. That means Phoenix should not be able to have this ability. Come out and face me! I don't want to come out! Except I just did! Why did I listen to you? A child? I'm not a child! I'm Athena! Athena? Oh! Oh! The goddess of wisdom! The prophecy! A wise child convinced! That's making a lot more sense now! Oh wow! You have no idea how much I've wanted to meet you! But uh, why are you so small? And angry. You forget, Typhon took away her power and ability of being a god. The fact that you need to ask that question shows you haven't been paying attention to everything you had to do up until this point. Look. Look. Sorry, what was your name? I'm Phoenix. I can't believe I'm meeting the real Athena. Even if she is a little go uh, little goddess. Were you going to call me little girl? I was, yes. That would have gone badly. And what was a powerless little girl going to do to a trained demigod? If Phoenix can be her brother and beat Typhon at this point, 
Athena in her weakened state had no upper hand. For some reason, Athena looks like classic Chucky from the first Child's Play. Yeah, but that's how fate works, champion. Step one to championing is go get that Hydra. Okay, bye. That's deep. Is there any further wisdom that okay, I should- Okay, bye! I agree with Athena right here. All you have to do is kill the damn Hydra. Sure, you have to put in some work, but if you really think about it, it's going from point A to point B. I am the never-ending truth! I am your world reborn! Throughout the whole game, he said this at least a thousand times. Hey, Achilles. You must have learned a lot on your adventures, huh? Or maybe you didn't need to learn anything. Guys like you and my brother. Maybe you just know what to do. Well, so what if it's not easy? You weren't perfect, but look at everything you did. And with Athena guiding me... Thanks, buddy. Good talk. I'm beginning to think Phoenix takes in a massive amount of hallucinating drugs behind the scene. She was having a conversation with the statue of Achilles. She pretty much gave herself the do not give up speech. Medusa is supposed to be one of the strongest and most dangerous demons in all of Greek mythology. Ubisoft ended up making her the easiest boss fight in this game. And that is very disappointing. Okay, now that we're all here... Let's do this. We must be cautious in our approach against Typhon. Cautious? We should sharpen our blades, storm his cave, and defile his manhood. Oh, baby. I'm right here. I cannot handle your outbursts anymore. I'm pregnant with Aris's baby. How the hell are you pregnant with Aries' baby when you have been trapped and transformed as a tree for so many years? Also, you all choose his kids. Does that mean you married your brother and cheated on him with your other brother? There's some confusing, disgusting shit. You be so, what the hell is wrong with you guys? Isn't it supposed to be rated T for teens? About this. She'll have my back. This is how you react when your wife stabs you in your heart by telling you she's pregnant with someone else's baby? Wow, you're a bigger simp than these people giving their money to women on OnlyFans. Wait until I tell my therapist about this. Apparently, gods have therapists. What's the point on being a god if you need to speak to a damn therapist? Mark my words. <laughs> of course she has your back. It's Echo. She just repeats what you're saying. Damn, she's laughing at her husband for being hurt. I can see why Aphrodite is loved by feminists nowadays. She's strong to herself, she's ambitious, but she has no morals. She has no ability to love anyone but herself. Anyone remember the time when Ubisoft apologized because no women were advertised in an Assassin's Creed Odyssey? Ubi Sims, don't forget who you're making the game for. What would Zeus think of this mess you made, Ares? Mess I made? Yeah, what the hell? Aphrodite is the one who chose that she were Ares. What the fuck you blaming the men for? Ubisoft, you guys are really get on my nerves with these feminist political bullshit you keep putting in your games. Feminist got you by the balls and makes all of you their bitch. I can't thank you enough. I'll return when the deed's done. What about me? I thought I was coming with you on the mountain. It's gotten way worse out there. Do you know how responsible I'd feel if something happened to you? I'll be fine. You said we'd do it together. Let's not argue, little sis. Stay here. Gather weapons in case I fail. But I shall not fail. Phoenix was about to let her brother literally take her moment after everything she did. After freeing all four gods from their torment. After every puzzle and vault that made me want to break something that was near me. You know what you have to do. Beat Lagiron to the top of that mountain. That's right. And we're going to help you. I'll give you a big head start by summoning a storm to blast away the ice blocking the path up the mountain. Since when can you do that? Athena was known as a goddess of war, strategy, and her specialty was inventions. She was never able to create storms. But here comes Ubisoft and try to change shit up. All I ever got was empty promises. At least you didn't get thrown off a mountain. Do you think that's bad? Zeus forced me to marry you! But every single one of you, including Phoenix, are siblings. You know what? 
It's just getting sent for this incest crap. Murdered my mother. They're... They're all right. I'm a terrible father. Yeah, what the fuck? You made your own kids marry each other for your own selfish reasons. I'm only speaking for myself, but fuck this puzzle. Ha! I did it! Who's your daddy now, Legiron? Cerberus breath! Did you steal the nectar? How the hell didn't let Garon hear Phoenix shout just now? Of course, this is due to plot demands. It's just like you said, Typhon. <sighs> what the? Phoenix, for a smart girl, you should let your brother fool you. He refused to let you help him fight Typhon when he saw you can clearly handle yourself. He's always trying to belittle you by expressing his victories. And do you not remember him stealing all the artifacts before? I already knew Legaron was up to something, and this did not surprise me. The blood of the gods. Quickly, little one. Little one is pushing. Now, the Hydra Venom, the Topi Diracles, and the Water of Styx, the most deadly river of the underworld. Stay back. Drop in the adamantine to contain it. Gently. That is not gentle. Good. Now bring the fire to me. This will be my throne once we murder the gods. Once I lay them to rest without poison, nothing can resist its dark kiss. Typhon, you had literally years upon years to get rid of these gods. You're just now trying to get rid of them? So that's Typhon's plan, to kill them all. No, shit! Oh, yeah. I could get used to this. Legiron! Oh, this is going to be good. Whoa, Speedy. How did you get up here? I could ask you the same thing, too. How the hell did you get through the extreme cold without any heat to warm you up? How did you cross to this island when there wasn't a bridge or any path to come here? And what timing that you got here at the same time Phoenix got here? And immortalize me. Ah, get it? You have no idea what you're doing. You can't give Typhon that poison. Unless you're blind or weren't paying attention, you should have seen Legaron give Typhon everything. Come on, little sis. Hit me. Is he being serious right now? Stop. Please, stop! Legaron reminds me of these feminists who wanted equality to go against men and now regret it. Didn't you sail into the harbor and sink their ships one by one overnight? This is nothing compared to those feats. Also, Typhon powered up Legaron three times and he still lost. Yet, he gloats about his false victories. I didn't! I didn't do those things! Exactly. This is nothing compared to those feats. Actually, you just beat someone who's been powered up by Typhon astronomically. That's a pretty big deal. You have returned the gods' essences. You have slain beasts and monsters. You have shown yourself worthy. Perhaps you are my champion. Antagonist of the game tries to get the hero to side with them, cliche. I thought mortals were a failure, so I ended it. But I know now that I made a mistake. Who am I to judge imperfection? If I've learned one thing watching you save my children, it's that they are flawed. Mortals are exactly like the gods. In fact, we, I am worse. We'll all be better off without me. Oh. Yes, it is time to complete the prophecy. I am so proud of you. Promise me you'll be a better leader, but more importantly, a better parent. I know you're not perfect, but you're my dad, and that's what matters. You're not going to kill me? What? You, you thought you were getting out of this that easy? Saying you made a mistake is the first step. Now, to quote Ares, you have to actually be better. There are like five, maybe six steps. I'd say more like 12. Life 
isn't a staircase or a charity race. You either get it right the first time. How was nobody aware of Typhon being close? How did he not make any noise climbing the mountains? It seems I overestimated you, little one. There are no second chances. Typhon, stop! Oh yeah, because he's gonna stop just because you want him to. You should know better than that. Boom we are, baby! Legiron! Phoenix! So, you might have been right earlier. Well, what the hell did you expect making a deal with the devil? That's literally asking to get screwed over. Understatement of the century. Zeus, you're supposed to be the most powerful god and here you are in prison like a bitch. Now that the bird was killed, Phoenix couldn't open her wings or glide. The sin here is that Phoenix needed the bird to open her wings. What kind of sense does that make? Next time, might want to invest in multiple cages. Well, well, the coward left you all alone. What a disappointment of a father he turned out to be. Hey! That's our deadbeat dad you're talking about, asshole! How the hell is Hermes their size when throughout the entire game he was the same size as Phoenix? You can't do this. You need me to bring order to the chaos. But good can't completely kill evil. It's the same thing as light not being able to permanently take out the dark. Beautiful. Oh my god! Phosphor! I thought you were dead! He was. Now, whenever he dies, he'll return to life. I've created a new being in your honor. A majestic bird that burns with the fire of the sun and never gives up. The Phoenix. Uh, I'm speechless. I don't deserve this. You literally just beat Typhon. Not only that, but you saved the gods from being killed. Character being modest for nothing cliche. Hey! Can somebody help me? Anyone? Yeah. You there, mortal. Help! Me? Uh, I have a key. Oh, thank the gods. Let me out. Yes, but first, Zeus said I have to tell you a story. Yeah, he gave you a quest to fulfill, but I'm wondering how you're not freezing to death. Those two little bonfires ain't enough to warm anything against the blizzard. Let this, the tale of Phoenix, be my redemption. My tale begins at sea. No! This is worse than the eagle. Hey, if you think you're having a bad time, try taking a woman shopping. This ain't a sin, I'm just expressing my struggles. Isn't it weird how prophecy ends with I see? But in this case, I don't? He's become far too dangerous. And I doubt his new allies realize quite how dangerous he is. Thank God I found you. It's me. It's Ethan. Ethan? Ethan? Are you alright? You shouldn't be here. 